All right, here we are. We're going to do a side-by-side -side comparison between Lightroom, Capture One, same images as you can see by the ISO metadata right here, and both images. We're going to start with the spot removal in Photoshop. I mean, uh, excuse me, in Lightroom Four, using the spot removal tool. And uh, before I get into that, I'm going to zoom in a little. Okay, so I'm going to work on the image here. Zoom out a little. It's too much. I'm going to work on these blemishes right in here. Okay. And I'm going to work on the same images in Capture One. So her scar and these spots here on her face. I'll just make the tool a little smaller. And Photoshop CS5 spot removal is equivalent to content aware. Now I have previously edited this picture so far as for lighting and everything. So I'm not going to get into that. I may use a preset later on if I choose to do so. But right now, I'm just doing a quick spot removal. Now I'm going to his face and save him. Zoom out. Compare. Zoom out one more time. Now let's do the same thing in Capture One. Now here we use the Spot Removal tool here. In. And here you process right here by clicking the arrow. Let me zoom back out. And there's a side-by-side -side comparison for the scars. So you see with uh, Lightroom, you have to click in and then move the spots around. So let's say we click here, and then you have to pretty much, it'll automatically set it, or you could uh, move it around to match it based on your opinion of what is closest to the area you're trying to clone. So we have Lightroom, Capture One. Same image, I will put them on Facebook in the group Operation Give Back. And what I'm going to do right now is a screenshot of them both. Save myself some work later. Screenshot as it happens. All right, we are done. Thank you for joining us. It's Katie Morris, Katie Morris Photographer.